so next is uh, v2 acute leg ischemia a 75 year old man was referred by his gp to a knee with sudden onset left leg pain uh, which you are asked to assess what are you going to do so i will take uh, history so i will take history including uh, onset of pain either it's acute or chronic uh, how this pain feels and uh, duration is very important and severity precipitating aggravating and relieving factors either this pain is referred or related somewhere else intermittent versus constant pain and recurrent or associated symptoms then i will rule out the risk factors including uh, cardiovascular disease family history of cardiovascular disease hyperlipidemia hypertension smoking male gender tobacco use and then surgical history previous lower extremity vascular surgery open or endovascular then i will examination six p's so it will be pain pulse less paler poikilothermia paresthesia and paralysis so i will do neurological examination as well as a control lateral limb examination and arrhythmias his left leg is pale and cool and you cannot feel any pulses below the groin what else do you need to know so i will do neurovascular examination paresthesia or paralysis present uh, how the control lateral uh, pulses are i will compare with them if all present likely more uh, embolic in origin and tender calf consider muscle ischemia and may need fish out me after revascularization uh, he is numb from mid calf to the toes but can faintly detect pin pricks and ankle flexion is 3 out of 5 motor strength he has a doppler he has no doppler signal in his left foot he has a full set of pedal pulses and normal neurological exam on the contralateral side. What is your uh, management plan? So here we have to classify uh, what type of uh, acute limb ischemia is. So there is a, a Rutherford classification for acute limb ischemia. It classifies into three main categories. So number uh, category one, it's called viable. Uh, so this limb is uh, no immediately threatened. It's viable. There will be no sensory loss no muscle weakness, uh, no drop in arterial signal and Doppler and no drop on venous signal and Doppler. The next one is 2. So this is called threatened. It's divided into 2. 2A two and 2B. Two 2A two is called marginally threatened and 2B is called immediately threatened. So let's talk about 2A that's marginally threatened. So again limb is salvageable if prompt treatment started. There will be minimal sensory loss in the toes only no muscular loss, inaudible arterial signal on the Doppler and audible venous signal on the Doppler and then is immediately uh, uh, threatened that is salvageable with immediate revascularization. There will be more uh, sensory loss till the calf, mild weakness in the muscles, mild to moderate, inaudible uh, arterial Doppler signal and audible uh, Doppler signal on the veins. Then is irreversible, it's a mortal uh, it's about uh, lost game so it's major tissue loss or permanent nerve damage inevitable there will be sensory loss profound anesthetic muscle paralyzed inaudible signal on the vein inaudible on the uh, on the arterial double signal so this limb comes into 2a that's marginally threatened so the presence of full set of contralateral pulses implies that this is most likely an embolism uh, embolic forces may arise from the cardiac um, cardiac uh, arrhythmias, mural thrombosis, vegetations, cardiac tumors, or proximal aortic or arterial aneurysms, arterial dissection, a paralyzed and the limb who is in three should be offered straight away amputation. Investigation, so arterial duplex or CT angiogram or MRI can be performed, but if you have um, a hybrid theater or a facility in the theater to do angiograms, patient can be go in the theater with the plant do angiogram in the theater so preoperative management intravenous resuscitation and systemic uh, anticoagulation by giving a bolus of 80 units per kg stat followed by 18 units per kg per hour heparin infusion so limb salvage options are surgical embolectomy or thrombolysis so given the extent of the paralysis and loss of sensation a uh, acute limb ischemia to be i would proceed immediately with a surgical embolectomy as it is imminently threatened and this is a contraindication to uh, marginally threatened to a where there is some luxury of time for thrombolysis to work so the arterial duplex can show the acute thrombus in the superficial femoral artery from the origin to the adductor hand canal you take this patient to the theater describe your surgical management 
so patient will be general anesthesia reliable intravenous access continuous arterial monitoring urinary catheter spine position standard sterile prep entire limb prophylactic antibiotic femoral embolectomy four compartment fasciotomy and possible popliteal tibial embolectomy in post operative intensive monitoring so take me through the approach for a femoral embolectomy so vertical groin incision dissect the down the subcutaneous tissue and uh, identify as common femoral artery and take uh, the branches of common femoral artery through so femoral artery into front of femoral artery take sling do vertical arteriotomy before clamping give 500 units of uh, heparin and uh, check the um, inflow by the brief lead and reclamping of cfa check for profunda femoris rebleeding so do forgot catheter into the profunda femoris artery and remove any clot then do the sfa embolectomy then recheck the patency when it's done close the artery arteriotomy with fibroprolene and uh, tell the nurses about ischemic reperfusion induced uh, in instability mm. then assess for the distal pulses if there are doubts about the potency of distal runoff on table conjunction may be helpful how do you perform a four quadrant uh, fasciotomy mm. so anterior incision 2 cm lateral to the lateral uh, right border of the tibia 2 cm below the tibial head and 2 cm above the little malleolus and posterior incision again two finger breadth lateral to the medial malleolus two cm finger breadth below the tibial tuberosity and two finger breadth above the medial malleolus then we have to open the both compartments anteriorly and posteriorly assess the calf muscle for viability what is thrombolysis so thrombolysis is a mode of delivery a mode of therapy in which thrombus or embolus is broken down by pharmacological agents it is different from the anticoagulation anticoagulation prevents uh, uh, further clot formation and propagation while the body's in uh, mechanisms uh, deal with the thrombus so catheter directed thrombolysis is safer with less bleeding risk compared to the systemic thrombolysis Uh, so common thrombolytic agents are uh, TPA tissue plasmin agent activator alteplase streptokinase and urokinase their efficacy can be improved by direct intraarterial administration so formal embolectomy uh, was completed and you gain a popliteal pulse however the leg is still cool and pulses the calf muscles are pink but sluggish to twitch and electrical stimulation what would you do on table cholangiogram or popliteal tibial embolectomy so angiogram shows distal embolization and occlusion of the popliteal in all three tibial arteries with the distal reconstitution via the collateral describe how you perform a popliteal tibial embolectomy again medial proximal calf femoral incision take down the gastrocnemius attachment posterior circum retraction dissect into the popliteal fossa identify the vein which is superficial artery is deep um, and uh, take down sling the popliteal artery with vessel loops sling vessel loops take down soleus and then do uh, longitudinal or vertical 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 not longitudinal vertical arteriotomy no wrong transverse arteriotomy and distal popliteal artery once all vessels is controlled then pass a two french fogartery embolectomy catheter do each tibial artery until back bleeding with clean pass and then you have to do popliteal mm, and then you have to the tibial peroneal trunk posterior and uh, posterior tibial and peroneal arteries what is the half life of urokinase tpa so streptokinase has dual half life first 15 minutes and then 90 minutes but tpa has half life of 5 to 10 minutes in the plasma what are the disadvantages of the thrombolysis thrombolysis takes time to work 6 to 24 hours there in and there may not be such luxury of time to salvage a limb with such advanced ischemia and clot burden contraindication thrombolysis include the recent uh, trauma surgery recent stroke intracranial hemorrhage aortic dissection thrombocytopenia non aneurysms uncontrolled hemorrhage in pregnancy and uh, thrombolysis requires intensive neurovascular and laboratory monitoring while infusion therapy is administered mm. the pitfalls of treatment uh, include failure to recognize ischemia perfusion in induced limb compartment syndrome uh, excess side bleeding and development of disseminated intravascular coagulation therapy requires predefined goals with planned interval reimaging to determine progress identify the need for adjustment of the infusion catheter and definitive treatment of culprit lesion that is unmasked there are higher rates of reoclusion unless underlying culprit lesions are adequately treated thank you